If you've seen the picture, the videos, you know that hurricanes Milton and Helene destroyed thousands of vehicles, many of them underwater. Our National Verify team looked into claims that certain types of batteries, like the ones in electric vehicles and some hybrids, can catch fire after being submerged in flood water. In the aftermath of hurricanes Milton and Helene, people on Facebook shared a photo of a destroyed, burnt-out vehicle. They claim electric vehicles and bicycles explode like a bomb when they get submerged in salt water. And that photo is an example of what could happen. Several Verify readers asked us if that's true. So let's verify using these sources. Short answer is yes, they can catch fire but it's rare. In 2022, seawater flooding from Hurricane Ian damaged thousands of electric vehicles, according to a report from the Idaho National Laboratory. About 36 caught on fire. But the fires don't always happen right away. The lithium ion batteries in electric vehicles can catch fire weeks after battery damage, according to a National Highway Traffic Safety Administration report. So why does this happen? Electric vehicles are designed with water-resistant safety features, like sealed battery packs, that allow the car to withstand driving through rain or puddles. But submersion in fresh or salt water can damage that seal and other safety features, causing the battery to short circuit or overheat over time, which can cause it to eventually catch fire. This also applies to other things powered by lithium batteries, like e-bikes and personal electronic devices. If an EV does get submerged in floodwaters, Tesla says their vehicles should be moved away from structures and other combustible materials until they've been inspected. Floodwater can also damage the engine of gas-powered vehicles. AutoZone warns that flooded combustion vehicles should not be operated until they've been inspected and repaired. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Till.